Hello everyone, this is John S, one of the instructors of NMAT Online. Today, we will be discussing about number series problems. Enjoy and I hope you will learn something from this video. One type of series is an arithmetic progression. So, in an arithmetic progression, the sequence vary from one another by adding or subtracting a common number which is called the common difference. For example, from 3 to 8, the common difference is 5. 8 to 13 is also 5. Same with 13 to 18, it's also plus 5. So 18 plus 5, that's 23. 23 plus 5 gives us 28. So therefore, to determine the final answer, it's 28 plus 5 equals 33. Another type of series is geometric progression. So in a geometric progression, uh, the number actually is being multiplied by a common factor. For example, we have from 2 to 6, so to determine the common factor, we can divide 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So therefore, it's 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. 18 times 3 equals 54. 54 times 3 is 162. 162 times 3 is equals is equal to 486. So to determine the next number in the series, we are going to multiply 486 by 3. So that's 18, 24, 25, 12, plus 2 is 14. So the answer is 1450. Now we have here an example of a Fibonacci progression. A Fibonacci progression is a special series wherein the last two terms are added to obtain the next term. For example, we have 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 5 plus 8 equals 13. So to determine the next number, we have to find the sum of 8 and 13, which is 21. The next type of series is called an alternating pattern series. So it is composed actually of the terms of two or more distinct series arranged in alternate order. So we have an example. So from 10 to 11, the difference is 1. 11 to 16, the difference is 5. 16 to 18, the difference is 2. 18 to 23, we have 5 as a difference. 23 to 26, we have 3 as a difference. Observe that we have here 5 altern alternately. So we have 1, 5, 2, 5, 3. So we also have a pattern here. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So we are going to apply plus 5 to determine the next number and that is 26 plus 5 equals 31 so we have here another example of an alternating pattern series so for this series we have the pattern from 20 to 26 the difference is 4 26 to 31 the difference is 5 next we have from 31 to 37 the difference is 6 so from 11 to 16, we have a difference of 5. 16 to 22, we have 6. So to determine the answer, we have to get a pattern from the pattern below, 4, 5, 6. So we can also have here 5, 6, then 7, so plus 7. So 22 plus 7 is 29. We have here an example of an alternating factor progression. So in an alternating factor series or progression, two or more common factors, differences, or patterns are alternately applied to the terms to determine uh, the next number of the series. Okay, for example, we have from 1 to 3, the difference is 2. 
3 to 15, we can have the pattern times 5. 15 to 17, so it's plus 2. 17 to 85 is times 5. 85 plus 2 equals 87. So to determine the answer, we have 87 times 5, which is 435. The next type of series is called the prime number series. The terms in a prime number series are obtained from prime numbers. Okay, so the first prime number and the only even prime number is the number 2, followed by 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. So the next prime number after 17 is actually 19. So therefore, the answer here is 19. Thank you for watching our episode today on number series. Please subscribe to NMAT Online's YouTube channel. We'll be sharing more test-taking tips on acing the NMAT exam. NMAT Online is the first digital review platform for NMAT in the Philippines. To learn more about it, you may check out our website or follow us on Facebook.